We're going to open up the TP-Link's next-gen AX1800 Deco X20, so let's open it up. Now the TP-Link Deco X20 mesh system box has the router and a point. This should do for most houses up to 4,000 square feet. If you really wanted to, you can have two Wi-Fi 6 access points by connecting Ethernet from your home straight into each point. In my situation, I'm making use of one router and a Wi-Fi 6 point, so basically using utilizing the mesh system. I really like the look and the feel of the TP-Link branding. It actually is a, such a smooth color on the box, just excellent graphics, and explains everything right there on the box. You almost think that you're going to get this thing and it's going to be great. So you get that impression that you're going to get something really functional that will work in your home. So right here, you can see that the Deco X20 box shows that there is the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz. The Deco X20 boasts that you can connect up to about 150, point, 150 devices. I was pretty much at my max with the Google Wi-Fi mesh. It was only Wi-Fi. It was only a Wi-Fi 5 system. So I'm pretty sure that these two Deco X20 points are going to give me more reliability and more coverage than my three device or my three point Google Wi-Fi mesh system. When you look at the specs here, you can see that it runs at about 550 megabytes per second at the 2.4 gigahertz range and about 1200 megabytes per second in the, on the 5 gigahertz range. The Deco X20 also works with the latest WPA encryption. Okay, maybe that's a lot of technological stuff, but pretty much it's got the latest security. And each Deco X20 device has a 2 gigabyte Ethernet port for more wired networking capability, so you can expand your network. There are many features here that advanced users can use to ensure proper networking, like BSS Color. So BSS Color just means that more than one Wi-Fi radio can identify each other. So once you get the cover off the box and open it, you'll see that the two Deco X20 devices are nicely housed and seated. The markings inside the box show you how to pair the Deco X20s and how it can be set up in just a couple of minutes. They show you the meaning of the different color LED light statuses, for example, yellow means starting, it's starting up, blue means it's finding a connection, green means all is well, and red means there's an issue. So pretty straightforward and simple. The instructions of the quick setup are pretty straightforward. I'm going to walk you through setting up the X20 Wi-Fi 6 system. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to download the Deco app from the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store, but I'll walk you through this. The Deco X20 devices are nice and round and about just about a half pound to a pound in terms of weight. You can see on the back that there are two Ethernet ports with the power and with the power connection, as I mentioned before. There's also a nice reset button that's very easy to access. Once you choose which Deco X20 device will be your main router, you can choose that the other Deco X20 device could be part of the mesh or it can act as an identical Wi-Fi 6 access point. The two Deco X20 devices are identical. TP-Link has made these devices round and white to fit in any room. The idea is that you place the X20 in, any, in an open area that's aesthetically pleasing. It's really cool how the accessories like the adapters are packaged nice and neat. Nice logo here imprinted into the power adapter. The adapter is made to save space for other devices to plug into the wall. However, if you have a power bar, you have to check to make sure it's not going to get in the way of other adapters besides the X20 power adapter. So as I was arranging the devices nice and neat for my photo shoot, I noticed that there was there was no Ethernet cable. I couldn't, at least I couldn't find it right away. Almost all the devices with Ethernet ports usually come with an Ethernet cable, so I was pretty surprised. Nicely and neatly tucked away is a package instruction manual and quick start installation guide. It's pretty much a one page quick start manual that says, Get the Deco app in many languages. And there was the Ethernet cable packed away in the same bag. Phew! I thought it was going to stop setting this device up right then and there and send it back. TP-Link, however, provides a thin Ethernet cable which extends about five feet, which is pretty standard. I must say, again, like as I'm opening this TP-Link Deco X20, it was a joy. You feel like you're going to get something dependable and reliable. It looks like a well-built device. So let's start talking about how we're going to install these devices in our home. Let's get started. First thing, find out where you want to install the Deco X20. Make sure you have a plug-in available and enough length to connect your Ethernet cable to the modem in your house. I've got a lot of things plugged into my power bars all over the house, and I've got cables all over the place. It's a mess. 
So a little bit of pre-planning is needed. In my situation, I was replacing the Google Wi-Fi mesh system, so I knew where the first Deco X20 was going to go. It was going to go right here where the Google Wi-Fi was. The second Deco X20 could go in a place where I know I'm going to extend my Wi-Fi 6 mesh system. So I put it in the entertainment area where the majority of my devices are. I can move the second X20 device later to ensure I have proper Wi-Fi coverage, but for the sake of this setup, I put it close to most of my devices. In some cases, you just need to put the device on opposite ends of the house or in an open area where you know that you know you're going to get proper Wi-Fi coverage. For this setup, I put it close to my TV and streaming devices. So remember, the X20 Wi-Fi mesh system can cover up to 4,000 square feet. So that's a lot. So that should cover most homes just right. When you begin your setup here, TP-Link suggests that you turn off your main modem before you install your TP-Link Deco X20. Once the main power is unplugged, you will need to plug in the main power cord and the Ethernet cable to your Deco X20, and then connect the other end of the Ethernet cable back into your modem. Then you need to power up your modem and wait about anywhere from 2 to 5 minutes depending on your internet provider to get your internet back up and running. The Deco X20 LED status light will then blink blue. This means it's ready for setup. Next, you'll need to install the Deco app. You'll find the Deco app on the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. You'll note that the app is made by TP-Link. Once you open up the Deco app, you're going to have to agree to some terms and conditions, and then it will ask you to actually create a TP-Link ID account. Once you put in your credentials and sign up, you'll then begin the setup of your Deco X20 device. The Deco app will remind you to get your Ethernet and power adapter ready and unplug your modem, as was mentioned earlier. Once you have everything connected and, and power up your modem, you'll have to about two or five minutes, like I mentioned before, depending on your internet provider, and then you'll see the Deco X20 status light change. You'll see a solid yellow, and then you'll see a pulsing blue LED light. That means that the X Deco X20 is ready to be set up. The Deco app is going to ask for your location. You'll need to accept the location while using the app. And then the Deco app will show you that it's going to connect to a temporary internet connection or a Wi-Fi connection, and that's the Deco X20 label. You just need to choose connect. So once the connection is made to the Deco X20, you'll be given a choice to pick which room the device is located. You can pick from your bedroom to the hallway, or you can choose a custom location. In my example, I set up the second Deco X20 as the basement. Once you select the room, You'll then choose what type of connection is required. I re recommend here that you just go by the default recommended settings. Don't need to change anything unless you've got something special. Then you click next, and then the Deco app is going to ask you for your Wi-Fi credentials. Now, so here's a really good pro tip. Record your previous network name and your password. This way, you just replace your network name and your password when you install the Deco X20 and you just rename it exactly the same with the same password, then all your devices should be able to connect to the new Deco X20 Wi-Fi 6 mesh system. And you don't have to reconnect all your devices one by one now. So that's what I did here. I just used my existing network SSID or your network name and my password credentials. I was able to easily transfer over all my devices to the Wi-Fi 6. Easy peasy, no fuss. Then you should see a notice saying that your Deco network is now up and it's ready to use. The next thing here is that you need to connect the other Deco X20 point. Once you've selected the location of your access point, if you plug it in within two minutes, your devices will automatically connect to the Deco X20 mesh system automatically. Let's go through the setup of the next Deco X20 system. It's gonna ask you to select another device if you wanna add it. Select add a new device. If you don't get a connection right away, You'll need to reset the X20 by pressing the functional reset button at the bottom and start again. Once you get a connection, the Deco X20 mesh system will find the best Wi-Fi 6 signal possible for each device. You'll then see a list of devices in the Deco app of all your devices. The Deco app puts the list of all your devices into one place. So if you go into the settings of those devices with the gear wheel at the top right hand side, you can determine where the device is connected to or which Deco X20 router your device is connected to. For example, in my situation, I have the main Deco X20 router in my office and the other one I put in my basement. So you can go through each device to find out which one your device is connected to. This will help you determine your house's best arrangement for, to, for Wi-Fi coverage for all your smart home IoT devices. 
The Deco app actually explains a little bit about, about where you should place your De Deco X20 router. So within a few minutes, the second Deco X20 point in your home will start blinking blue, then it will go green, and you basically have your new at Deco X20 Wi-Fi 6 mesh system in your home. Enjoy! Check out the unboxing of the Echo Dot Kids Edition.